Isaiah 33, 2. Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in time of distress. Habakkuk 3.19. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread on the heights. Ephesians 3.16. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. 1 Peter 4.11. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. 1 Peter 3.14 But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear their threats. Do not be frightened. Isaiah 35, 4. Say to those with fearful hearts, Be strong. Do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. Hebrew 11, 1. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for, an assurance about what we do not see. John 14, 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. Psalm 34, 4. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Psalm 34, 17. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Psalm 94, 19. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Psalm 138, 8. The Lord will vindicate me. Your love, Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. Jeremiah 17, 7 through 8. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Luke 12, 24 through 34. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than birds. Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Consider how the wildflowers grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today, and tomorrow is thrown into the fire. How much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it. For the pagan world runs after all such things, and your father knows that you need them. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Do not be afraid, little flock. For your Father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out. A treasure in heaven that will never fail, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. John fourteen twenty seven. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Colossians 3.15 Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Second Thessalonians 3.16 Now, may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times, and in every way, the Lord be with all of you. Psalm 55, 22. 
Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. 1 Peter 5, 6 through 8. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Hebrews 13, 5 through 6. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Psalm 56, 3. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Deuteronomy 31, 8. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Matthew 5, 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew eighteen eighteen. Jesus said, Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore, I say to you, Whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Luke ten nineteen. Jesus said, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Acts sixteen thirty one. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. You and your household. Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Ephesians 2, 10. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 4, 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Ephesians 6.14 Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place. Philippians 3.10-11 through 11. I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death. Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. 2 Corinthians 4, 3 through 4. But even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing, whose minds the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. 2 Timothy 1, 7 For the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. 1 Timothy 4, 12 Be an example to believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. 2 Timothy 2.10 Therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. 1 Peter 2.17 Show proper respect to everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear God. Honor the emperor. Ephesians 4.32 and become useful and helpful and kind to one another, tender-hearted, compassionate, understanding, loving-hearted, forgiving one another, readily and freely, as God in Christ forgave you. Colossians 3, 13-14 
bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you and over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Psalm 73, 26. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalms 16, 8. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. Romans 15, 13. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Philippians 4, 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Psalm 62, 58. For God alone, O my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I will not be shaken. On God rests my salvation and my glory, my mighty rock. My refuge is God. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Isaiah 55, 11. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Psalm 118.17 I shall not die, but I shall live, and recount the deeds of the Lord. Isaiah 41.10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 32, 18. My people will live in peaceful dwelling places, in secure homes, in undisturbed places of rest. Psalm 91, 1 through 2. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress my God, in whom I trust. 2 Thessalonians 3, 3. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. 2 Samuel seven twenty nine. Now be pleased to bless the house of your servant, that it may continue forever in your sight. For you, sovereign Lord, have spoken, and with your blessing the house of your servant will be blessed forever. Matthew 7, 25. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. Second Chronicles 7, 15 through 16. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. Numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Luke 10, 5. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. Isaiah 32, 18 My people will abide in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings, and in quiet resting places. Psalm 34, 7 The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Psalm 121, 8 the Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Zechariah 2, 8 For thus said the Lord of hosts, After his glory sent me to the nations who plundered you, for he who touches you touches the apple of his eye. Psalm fifty fifteen. 
and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Luke 10, 19. Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you. Psalm 91, 1 through 2. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Luke 1, 37. For nothing will be impossible with God. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make straight your path. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Matthew 21, 21 through 22. And Jesus answered them, Truly, I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, Be taken up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Hebrews 11, 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Mark 11, 22 through 24. And Jesus answered them, have faith in God. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. First Peter 1, 8 through 9. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Colossians 1.11 May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy. Psalm 5.11 but let all who take refuge in ye rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy and spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may exult in you. Psalm 30, 11. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. First Chronicles 16, 27. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy are in his place. Isaiah 55, 12 For you shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. John fourteen twenty seven. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Psalm 27, 1 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Matthew six thirty four. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Romans 12.12 12. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Isaiah 43.1 But now, this is what the Lord says. He who created you 
Jacob. He who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. Psalm 34, 4. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Psalm 94, 19. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Philippians 4, 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Galatians 5, 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. John 16, 24. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. Proverbs 17, 22. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. 1 Peter 1, 8. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory. John 16, 22. So also you have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. Psalm 118, 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 1611. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. John 15, 11. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. Psalm 35. For his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. Psalm 16, 9. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Hebrews 10, 24 through 25. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Romans 15, 5. May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had. Psalm ninety seventeen. May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Romans 15, 2. Each of us should please our neighbors for their good to build them up. 2 Corinthians 4, 1. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Galatians 6, 9. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them, nor any scorching heat. Isaiah 40, 1 through 5. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling, In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all the people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. First Thessalonians 4. 13 through 18. 
brothers and sisters. We do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. 1 Corinthians 15.57 But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 8.1 there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Hebrews 12, 2. Looking to Jesus, the founder and the perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Revelation 12, 11. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb, and the word of their testimony, for they loved not their lives even unto death. Colossians 2.15 He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. Ephesians 6.10 Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Ephesians 5.2 And walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Galatians 6.14 But far be it from me to boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. 2 Corinthians 2.14 14. But thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in a triumphal procession, and through us spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of him everywhere. Revelation 1, 5. And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. 1 John 5, 4 For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. 1 John 4, 4 Little children, you are from God and have overcome them, for he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Galatians 1, 4 who gave himself for our sins to deliver us from the present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father. 1 John 2, 2 He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Romans 6, 4-11 We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. For one who has died has been set free from sin. Now if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. Ephesians 
1, 6, to the praise of his glorious grace, with which he has blessed us in the beloved. Colossians 3, 12 through 17. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. But above all these things put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Psalm 91 He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all their ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With a long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Numbers 6, 24-26 the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Deuteronomy 13.4 May you walk after him and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. May you serve him and hold fast to him. Deuteronomy 31.6 do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. 1 Kings 9, 4 As for you, if you walk before me faithfully, with integrity of heart and uprightness, doing according to all that he has commanded him. Psalm 25, 12-13 Who is the man that fears the Lord? He himself shall dwell in prosperity, and his descendants shall inherit the earth. Psalm 25, 21 May integrity and uprightness protect me, because my hope, Lord, is in you. Psalm 36, 7-8 through 8. How precious is your loving kindness, O God! Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. Psalm 51, 10 Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Proverbs 3.21 When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Proverbs 11.21 Though they join forces, the wicked will not go unpunished, but the posterity of the righteous will be delivered. 
Proverbs 27. The righteous man walks in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. Jeremiah 29.11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. John 16.33. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Romans 8, 28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Psalm 23, 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Deuteronomy 24. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies, to give you victory. Matthew 11.24. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Psalm 34.8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Psalm 84, 11. For the Lord is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Psalm 121, 1 through 2. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty eight. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Colossians 2, 2. My goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love, so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding, in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ. Isaiah 41.10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Joshua 1.9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Philippians 4.13 I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Psalm 27.1 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 29.11 the Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Psalm 73, 26. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 18, 1 through 2. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Ephesians 6, 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Psalm 9, 9. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Psalm 46 1. God is our refuge and strength, an ever present help in trouble. Psalm 116 1 through 2. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. Psalm 119 48 through 52. I reach out for your commands which I love, that I may meditate on your decrees. Remember your word to your servant, for you have given me hope. My comfort in my suffering is this, your promise preserves my life. 
the arrogant mock me unmercifully, but I do not turn from your law. I remember, Lord, your ancient laws, and I find comfort in them. John 14, 16 through 17. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever the spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him for he lives with you and will be in you. John fourteen twenty six through 27. But the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Psalm 32, 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Psalm 37, 23 through 24. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. 1 Peter 2, 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. James 1, 2 through 3. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Exodus 14.14 14. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Psalm 91.3 Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. Isaiah 43.2 When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Isaiah 54, 10. Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon forged against you will prevail. You will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. Psalm 18.3 I call to the Lord, who is worthy of praise, and I have been saved from my enemies. Psalm 23.4 Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm fifty fifteen. And call on me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you, and you will honor me. Psalm 86, 5. You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call to you. Revelation 3, 5. The one who is victorious will, like them, be dressed in white. I will never blot out the name of that person from the book of life, but will acknowledge that name before my Father and his angels. Psalm 9, 9-10 The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Philippians 4, 6-7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Psalm 103, 2-5 Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things, 
so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalm 107, 13 through 16. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness, the utter darkness, and broke away their chains. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. For he breaks down gates of bronze and cuts through bars of iron. Ephesians three sixteen through 19 I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Romans eight thirty one through 35 What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? John fourteen twenty seven. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. Ephesians 1, 17 through 19. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power toward us who believe, according to the working of his great might. Second Corinthians 9, 8. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Second Peter 1, 3. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him, who called us by his own glory and goodness. Hebrews 13.5 Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Luke 12.7 Indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Philippians 4.19 and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Psalm 23, 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Psalm 34, 10. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Psalm 37, 25. I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. Psalm 132.15 I will bless her with abundant provisions. Her poor I will satisfy with food. Psalm 28.7 The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exalts, and with my song I give thanks to him. Romans fifteen thirteen. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Psalm forty six ten. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. First Peter one three. 
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has called us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Isaiah 41.10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Philippians 4, 6 through 8. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Romans 8, 31. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8, 18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. Romans 12, 12. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Isaiah 40, 31. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Jeremiah thirty two seventeen. Ah, sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Psalm fifty nine sixteen. But I will sing of your strength. In the morning I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. Deuteronomy twenty four. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. Exodus 15, 2. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise him. My Father's God and I will exalt him. 1 Corinthians sixteen three. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Second Timothy 1 Timothy 1.7 For the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Psalm 119.28 My soul is weary with sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Isaiah 40.29 He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Colossians 1, 9 through 23. For this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power, for all patience and long suffering with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of his love, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him all the fullness should dwell, and by him to reconcile all things to himself, by him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross. And you, who once were alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, 
Yet now he has reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. If indeed you continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast, and are not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you heard, which was preached to every creature under heaven, of which I, Paul, became a minister. Ephesians 1, 2-23 grace to you in peace from god our father and the lord jesus christ blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in christ just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestined us to adoption as sons by jesus christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, in which he made us accepted in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, which he has made to abound toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of the times he might gather together in one all things in christ both which are in heaven and which are on earth in him in him also we have obtained an inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will that we who first trusted in christ should be to the praise of his glory in him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also having believed you were sealed with the holy spirit of promise who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory therefore i also after i heard of your faith in the lord jesus and your love for all the saints do not cease to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power which he worked in christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion in every name that is named not only in this age but also in that which is to come and he put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him who fills all in all philippians four six through seven do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to god and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Matthew six twenty five through 34 Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or soar away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or, What shall we drink? Or, What shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek 
first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has enough trouble of its own matthew eleven twenty eight through thirty come to me all you who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light psalm twenty three the lord is my shepherd i lack nothing he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside quiet waters he refreshes my soul he guides me along the right paths for his name's sake even though i walk through the darkest valley i will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup overflows surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever romans fifteen thirteen may the god of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the holy spirit first peter five ten and the god of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in christ after you have suffered a little while will himself restore you and make you strong firm and steadfast hebrews ten twenty three let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess for he who promised is faithful ephesians one thirteen i pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people first thessalonians one three we remember before our god and father your work produced by faith your labor prompted by love and your endurance inspired by hope in our lord jesus christ philippians one six being confident of this that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of christ jesus psalm one thirty five i wait for the lord my whole being waits and in his word i put my hope romans five five and hope does not put us to shame because god's love has been poured out into our hearts through the holy spirit who has been given to us isaiah thirty two seventeen and the effect of righteousness will be peace and the result of righteousness quietness and trust forever psalm one twenty five one through two those who trust in the lord are like mount zion which cannot be moved but abides forever as the mountains surround jerusalem so the lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forevermore psalm twenty four seven through ten lift up your heads o gates and be lifted up o ancient doors that the king of glory may come in who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle lift up your heads o gates and lift them up o ancient doors that the king of glory may come in who is this king of glory the lord of hosts he is the king of glory second timothy three seventeen that the man of god may be competent equipped for every good work psalm seventeen eight through nine keep me as the apple of your eye hide me in the shadow of your wings from the wicked who do me violence my deadly enemies who surround me psalm thirty five one through two contend o lord with those who contend with me fight against those who fight against me take hold of shield and buckler and rise for my help proverbs fourteen twenty six in the fear of the lord one has strong confidence and his children will have a refuge psalm thirty one twenty in the cover of your presence you hide them from the plots of men you store them in your shelter from the strife of tongues psalm ninety one ten no evil shall be allowed to befall you 
no plague come near your tent. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 13. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails, but whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror, dimly. But then, face to face, now I know in part. But then I shall know just as I also am known. And now abide faith, hope, love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. Isaiah forty thirty one. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Mark twelve thirty. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 through 10. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Psalm 46, 1. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Psalm twenty-two nineteen. 19. But you, Lord, do not be far from me. You are my strength. Come quickly to help me. Psalm 28, 7 through 8. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Psalm 118.14 The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Isaiah 12.2 Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself, is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Revelation 7.16-17 For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Revelation 4 After this I looked, and there before me was a door standing open in heaven, and the voice I had first heard speaking to me like a trumpet said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. At once I was in the Spirit, and there before me was a throne in heaven with someone sitting on it. And the one who sat there had the appearance of jasper and ruby, a rainbow that shone like an emerald, encircled the throne. Surrounding the throne were twenty-four other thrones, and seated on them were twenty-four elders. They were dressed in white and had crowns of gold on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, rumblings and peals of thunder. In front of the throne, seven lamps were blazing. These are the seven spirits of God. Also in front of the throne, there was what looked like a sea of glass, clear as crystal. In the center, around the throne, were four living creatures, and they were covered with eyes, in front and in back. The first living creature was like a lion, the second was like an ox. The third had a face like a man. The fourth was like a flying eagle. Each of the four living creatures had six wings and was covered with eyes all around, even under its wings. Day and night, they never stopped saying, 
Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory, honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They lay their crowns before the throne and say, You are worthy, our Lord, our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Romans 8, 26 through 28. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Psalm 27, 1 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 86, 17 Give me a sign of your goodness, that my enemies may see it and be put to shame. For you, Lord have helped me and comforted me. Psalm 119.76 May your unfailing love be my comfort, according to your promise to your servant. Isaiah 51.12 I, even I, am he who comforts you. Who are you that you fear mere mortals, human beings who are but grass?